Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this informed player review with me, Boy Fifth one hd where we're going to be taking a look at the 84-rated informed promise card. Now, before we get into the review, as always, if you do enjoy this video, please remember to hammer the hell out of that like button, as that really does help me out. And also, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button too. And if I can help you guys out in any way, maybe you've got questions about Promes, or just FIFA 18 in general, or even the team that I used him in, then ask away in the comments below, as I'll be happy to answer each and every one of you. So, look Looking at his attribute details and as you can see he is very very fast his acceleration is 86 which you know could be a little bit higher but his sprint speed more than makes up for that at 92 great attack positioning his finishing at 85 is to die for along with that shot power and long shots which are also absolutely insane volley's not quite there but that's not too uh, much of a miss in my opinion his vision his crossing and everything are quite good on his passing nothing really to brag about but decent dribbling definitely a key area agility reactions ball control and dribbling so so good his balance could be a little bit higher but it's not too bad overall and then you see the heading accuracy is okay decent jumping okay strength it could be better and in game it certainly feels a bit weak in my opinion but overall not too bad a card indeed so let's get into the main block of the review so my thoughts on the 84 rated Inform Promes card were that he was very, very good. Now the obvious thing that's going to stand out with this card is that he does have that league SPC available, which is higher rated and slightly better. However, this card is one that you can trade. If you get bored with it or you want to sell it for any reason, you can do. You can't cash the league SPC back in once you've got it, so you're stuck with that card. That is the beauty with this one, is that you can get rid of it should you need to. Now, he's currently going for around 54k, which is pretty decent. That's not too expensive for a player. That is very, very good. However, I do think his price will fall. So if you are thinking about buying him, I would wait a few more days. I think his price will come down to around the sort of 40k mark. And then you will be getting an absolute bargain because the guy is ridiculously fast. As with all Promes cards, he's quick, and this card is no exception. He can go past people with absolute ease, throw in the amazing dribbling and the four-star skill moves, and you have a very lethal winger. What is brilliant about him is that he also has a four-star weak foot, and he's playing now on the left side, which I absolutely love about this card. One, because I needed a really good left-sided player from that league, but also because it means he's cutting in on his stronger foot, so it just basically means that he's always got an avenue to shoot and his shooting is just so precise. He's got really good attack positioning so he makes very clever runs, always gets into really nice areas which is very, very good. Cuts inside very well but also hugs the touchline so you can use him as both a winger in a traditional sort of form but also a very attacking, almost striker-like player that will just get himself in and score you an absolute ton of goals. His passing is neat and tidy, very, very accurate for the most part so you'll definitely rack up a few assists if you do want to play him in a more wider role his balance does leave a little bit to be desired for and he isn't the strongest which is always going to be an issue he will get pushed off the ball any sort of big center backs will have an absolute field day with him but that is only if they can catch him what is great obviously is that pace and also that very tricky footwork combined with the skill moves it makes getting past players very very easy with promes and like i said when he gets himself in he is highly clinical can score from some very tight angles and will just leave you absolutely speechless at some of the goals that he can score. So overall, a pretty decent player. Yes, not as good as that league SBC. That is the obvious elephant in the room. But for a card that you can actually trade with, this is a very good option and a great one for any Dutch teams that you've got with maybe a hybrid or any sort of Russian league teams that you are using him in. Very, very good player to use and one that I would highly recommend, which is why I've had to give him an 8.3 out of 10. There are a few defects on the card. Obviously, the league isn't the easiest to work with uh, and a few other minor points. And yes, there is that league SBC, which is higher rated and more attractive as a proposition. But I love the position change and I love a lot about this card. And for me, he played very, very well and was easy to use. And that is the main thing for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe and peace.